everyone and welcome back to my channel it's Dani here in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to make this super simple and beautiful reeded hat as you can see it's a super beautiful design and also extremely easy it's totally beginner friendly so if you have never touch and knitting needles before this is the project for you to start learning how to knit a hat and because it has a double brim it makes it extremely warm and also you can make the brim as wide as you want and it's just so simple and beautiful so before we get started I'm going to invite you to subscribe to my youtube channel if you haven't done that yet so you are not gonna miss any of my videos and if you want to learn how to make this super simple and beautiful hat, keep watching the video. So today I'm going to show you how to make this super bulky version of this hat, which used a category 6 um, yarn. So this is super, super warm and chunky hat. But I'm also going to leave the reading pattern on my website for this bulky hat which used a category 5 yarn so you're gonna have both patterns on my website the link is always in the description box below and also in the first comment of this video so as I mentioned before we're gonna be using the super bulky yarn this is a category 6 I'm using a Lion Brand Thick and Quick and for this hat we will use the full skein so make sure you have at least this amount of yarn for this hat. I'm also using my 10 millimeter circular needles by Clover. These are a 16 inches long but if you have a longer one you can use this magic loop technique to make this hat we will also need a scissors a stitch marker and a tapestry needle so to begin we're gonna leave at least two meters of yarn so we can cast on these stitches we're gonna begin with a magic loop. There is a lot of different ways to start casting on. We're gonna use the long tail method. And of course, you can use whatever technique you know. And so place the magic loop on your needle. And now start casting on. So for this hat, we're gonna cast on 45 stitches we need 44 but we need one extra to close the round um, yes the round <laughs> so we can work in the round perfectly so cast on 45 stitches and so this is something that it might help you um, when casting on so what I always remember is pass your needle under over and through so remember that and you are gonna be able to cast on super super easily under over and through So here we're done casting on and as you guys can see with two meters I have this little tail so it was the perfect amount and now make sure you don't have any stitch twist so then we can work perfectly and our hat it's not gonna be twisted and now we're gonna close this round so we are able to work in the round so to do that Pass your first stitch from the left needle to your right needle. And now take the second stitch from your right needle and pass it over the first stitch. 
and just leave it like that. Now you should have 44 stitches on your needles and we are ready to start our super easy hat. So to begin, place your stitch marker and we're gonna work knit one and purl one. This first row, you guys can notice that the purl, I'm grabbing the stitch from the front, but starting the second row, we're gonna take that stitch from the back. It's just a little I don't know it's something that I do it's easier for me so you can do however you want so basically this is what we're gonna be doing all project long so knit one purl one knit one purl one it's literally like we are making the reef of a hat but forever <laughs> for the entire hat so knit one purl one until you complete this row. For row number two, here's where I'm gonna show you how to do the purl. So knit one. And now the purl, we're gonna grab the back um, part of the stitch. <laughs> Just like that. And because we have an even number of stitches, you should always start with a knit stitch and always finish with a purl. So keep that in mind and continue knitting until you have, like I said, 44 rows. Here I have my 44 rows. I fold this brim so I can check how long do I want it. So this is perfect for me. Of course you can do less rows or more if you want, that it's totally up to you and it's gonna be depending on how wide you want your brim. So here I'm making my last stitch and now for the decrease, we're going to do three rows. So first stitch, knit, and then decrease one, and that means knit two stitches together. And keep doing this all the way around. Knit two stitches together until you have just one stitch left. So keep decreasing, knit two stitches together, all the way around. So here I have one stitch left, knit that stitch and now for the second row, knit one and decrease one knit one and decrease one so that means knit one and knit two stitches together and keep doing this until you finish this row and for the last two stitches you're gonna knit them together as if it was a decrease And then for the last row of decreases, we're going to 
knit them together as if they were one so knit two stitches together knit two stitches together until you have seven stitches on your needles and when you're done grab the scissors cut that tail boing, and now grab your tapestry needle and we are gonna take all those stitches left and place it on your tapestry needle if you want you can continue decreasing until you have one stitch left but personally I don't like that I don't like how the hat looks so this is why I'm doing this So now just pull that string of yarn, close the hat and as you can see it's perfect and it looks beautiful. So now all you have to do is pass your needle through the middle and just make a few knots so your hat is super nice and secure. This is why I love these super pointy metal needles because it helped me to make these knots easily and pass the needle through the fibers. I don't know, I just like it better than the plastic ones. And once that's done, now you just have to weave in this little tail. And what I like to do is weave it in from the middle, like, well, you, you guys will see now. In here, I just like to pass there down and then back again so that for me it's the perfect way to weave that little tail and that's it now you have a beautiful ribbed beanie or rivet beanie I don't know how to pronounce that but it's okay because you learn how to make it and that makes me extremely happy now you can put a pom-pom if you want or leave it as it is or maybe make a yarn pom-pom it's totally up to you and just remember that if you want to make the bulky version not the super bulky you're gonna have the reading pattern on my blog the link it's in the description box below so if you liked this video please give it a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel share this video with your friends or your family and of course don't forget to follow me on social media i have facebook and instagram i'm always posting pictures there of the projects that are coming etc so follow me there and if you speak spanish you can also follow me on my spanish channel which is called danny's ways and yes I really, really hope you guys loved this video. If you have any questions or suggestions, you can leave it in the comment section down below. And that's all for today. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.